Welcome back. It's Dennis and today I want to talk to you about the benefits of a holding company. I'm going to assume something for a moment. I'm going to assume that you earn $100,000 of profit in your small business. Now you have, a one or, you have a couple of options with that $100,000. One of them is to flow the $100,000 out to yourself and pay tax on it on top of the salary, let's say, that you've already flown out. If if you flow that $100,000 out, you're going to pay tax at approximately 50% for easy math. That's $50,000 of tax. That means you're going to have left for investment purposes $50,000. Option two is to leave the money inside the company. Inside the company, that $100,000 of profit is only taxed at 15% or $15,000. Now I'm going to assume for a moment that you want to leave the money in the company. If you do want to leave the money in the company, you should set up a holding company and flow the investments from the operating company up to the holding company, which you're allowed to do free of tax. The benefits of the holding company are twofold. Number one, you're able to protect the cash or investments from creditors. So if someone sues the operating company, they can't sue through the operating company to get to the cash in the holding company. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two is it keeps the operating company on side. That means that you qualify or the operating company would qualify for your lifetime capital gains exemption of $750,000 should you ever decide to sell the business. That's a whole nother wrinkle that we'll discuss later. But for now, you just need to understand the benefits of keeping excess cash in the holding company as opposed to the operating company. I hope that helps. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.